just talking about how clean your room's been lately. Yay! High five! <laughs> morning it's Friday so I just had a busy morning with a team of people here sketching our house for a upcoming shoot it went very well they went through the wardrobe options I pulled and um, yeah and we're done I'm editing right now I'm gonna jump on a call and then it's the weekend later so I'm really excited about that um, Mike and I went on date night last night and we went to this like reclaim wood place it was really cool just sourcing stuff for the house and getting ideas and it was it was awesome so i'll be making an, a part two of our purging video and home makeover video so that will be in that anyways i want to get my work done so this weekend can start okay it is time to go get the kids actually before i get the kids i need to run to the grocery store and get some dinner stuff I'm debating if I we make dinner tonight or I pick up like the pre-made stuff at the counter. <sighs> hmm, I really got you know it's funny because um I have like a busy August this week, next week, and the week after is especially busy. So I'm kind of like saying to myself, okay, if you pick up these dinners here and there, it's fine. And then after that, things should really slow down, and I'm but I'm starting a meal plan for then, and I want to start cooking and stuff. So. That's kind of my plan right now. I, I'm, I'm not being too hard on myself. I should put it that way. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and figure it out there, I think. And I think we're also gonna do some baking tomorrow. The weather doesn't know what to do with itself. It's one of those days where it's like heavy and overcast, it rained a little bit, but I'm the type of person that's like, if you're gonna rain, get it over with. Like, or get off the pot. So. I think I would be, I'd welcome like a good downpour right now or thunderstorm. I think that would just be so cozy. Well, maybe after I get home, but that's, that's what I prefer over gray, gray skies. I find gray sky is just like heavy. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's go. Okay. Everyone's home from school. Yummy. Are you having snack time? Okay, we're catching up on Big Brother, but a crazy storm's coming in, so we're watching it. Uh, we had a tornado warning, and now I think it's just an extreme storm. Good morning, it is Saturday. So, first of all, I put curl in my hair. It's been way too long. I need. I need to go back to curl. Anyways, so the people are here starting the, the basement and um, so that's happening. We did baking this morning. We did, which you'll see in an upcoming video, maybe in a few weeks. And then we had to do some photos, but we had like a nice lazy Saturday where we just didn't rush. It was really nice. And we just took our time. Everyone had showers and baths and everything. So Mike's gone over quickly to his sister's house. He took Mia, Everly, Bo, and Holden and I are about to go for a bike ride after we have snacks. And then we may go for a picnic or something in the afternoon, we'll see. It's a good day. It was supposed to rain, I think, today, and it's not too bad. I'm hoping the rain holds off for the afternoon. It's looking pretty promising. So that is kind of the plan today. Okay, it's 10 to four. Uh, me and Everly had their naps, and now we're all doing Play-Doh. Cool. It was thunderstorming and pouring out a few minutes ago, and now it's the, it's clearing up it there. We need to go get some birthday presents for people. What are you making, Holden? I'm trying to make a pizza. What are you making, a Mia? A poison pizza. We a glue. Poison pizzas can't be blue. Ah, the spaghetti! Uh oh. Here's some candy. Look at the pink bits at the end. Who's making a cake? Whose birthday is it today? Oh, I, I got a bad headache. Oh, 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 a bit of a migraine. I don't feel amazing. Mommy, I made a bowl. I made a bowl, mommy, for my cake. Happy, happy birthday. Okay, home now from going out. We just went out 
and got some birthday gifts. Both my parents' birthdays are tomorrow. So we got them a Google Home. Not sponsored, we just love her so much. I still feel like garbage. I realized I ran out of um, iron pills a couple days ago. I don't think that would affect me so quick. This can shake this headache, so. We've had some thunderstorms rolling through. I don't know if it's that. I need a good sleep. Anyways, pour myself a nice glass of wine. I'm gonna head outside with the kids and just enjoy the fact that the weather has cleared. I don't know what I would do without our backyard lately. Like that is like our kids happy place. Hola. It's nice out here, isn't it? Good morning, it's Sunday. So my migraine is finally gone. I had a brutal migraine yesterday. That's why I didn't film, I just like can barely function. Here's my, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're kind of just getting our day going slowly. We've got a really, really busy day today, so I'm just trying to figure out how we're gonna do it all. And I'm really hoping this headache does not come back. I'm helping Mike fold the laundry, and then we've been dealing with some outside stuff that's been w uh, too long. <laughs> um, just like some cleanup out front. And then the kids are playing really nicely in the backyard, thank goodness, while we get this done. And then we're heading to my parents for a pool party around one. And I've been very active, shoveling, I'm like sweating like crazy, and even got a little work done and I'm just gonna keep moving until our checklist is done before we have to go. Okay, still folding laundry. I'm getting there. I'll show you what the kids are up to. What are you doing, Bo? Making port passes. Making what passes? Huh? What are they? Uh, uh, port passes. So I keep forgetting to tell you guys about a huge win our family has had lately. So if you remember, um, back when we switched the girls to big girl beds, oh, someone's left their noisemaker on. One guess who it is. That's better. Flashback to when we switched our twins to the big girl beds. I'll, if you're new to the channel, this is what happened. What did you guys do? What did you guys do? Yeah, we're gonna get out after we clean up in here. What did you guys do? Can I please get out here? Thank you. Thank you. What? Mommy, Yeah, oh yeah, mommy's coming. So we had locked up all the twins' stuff as a result. We couldn't leave any of their stuff in the room um, at night because they were tearing up books, they were destroying their room, and it was impossible to keep clean. So when we did that big purge um, a week ago, I said to them, do you think you can keep your room clean? Can we give it back to you? And we did give everything back, and oh my goodness, they have been so good at keeping their room clean. They put every book away and all their toys away. This is the extent of the mess. There's a few things there, but come on. This is a clean room. I'm just talking about how clean your room's been lately. Yay! High five. 
So another thing that happened was um, we've had some temper tantrums, especially from Mia lately. I'm changing it. You're changing, okay. And um, she's challenging us. She she won't. We'll tell her our answer for something. She just won't have it. So then yesterday she had a huge temper tantrum, and I was I looked at my guy. I said I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to solve this. And what he did was he took her. He brought her upstairs. Just put her in bed and said, When you calm down, we'll come back. So then after a few minutes, everything was like really quiet. Is this mine? That is yours. You can put it on. I came back up to check on her and she was totally happy just playing in her bed. She goes, I just want to stay here. Are so then I said, okay, we're leaving your door open. We're going to go up dinner. You come down when you're ready. She comes down, says hi, and then goes right back up to her room and played in her bed and just totally calmed herself down. She's had a few more temper tantrums like that since. And I've said to her, look, you have my answer. Do you need us to take you to your room? And then she'd either calm down or she goes visits her room. She's not locked in her room or anything like that. And just... I think just like taking a moment to just calm down is really working. So, new strategy for these toddler temper tantrums. So we're finally off. We're heading to my parents to go swimming. Oh, that was a lot of work to pack everyone up, but I'm really excited. We've got some beautiful weather here, and I'm very excited to see family that I haven't seen in a really long time. Okay, I'm at my parents' house right now. Do you remember Erin? My little sister. Hello. This is Erin. And here, that's my sister-in-law, Megan. This is my parents' kitchen too. So you know how I'm talking about open shelving? So this is what I grew up with. Don't bring this See? Up. So I'm gonna show you everyone. There's my oldest brother Jonathan. He's just barbecuing. And there's Holden. There's my dad. He's the mystery man. We don't show dad's face. <laughs> there's Everly. We all were swimming for a long time and they're hungry. And we're home from the pool party. So that was really fun. Bo had a migraine today too. I don't know what it was with the migraines in the air this weekend. So um, I was helping her out. But I was so, so proud of one of our kids. So Everly had, they wear floaties when they swim. And Everly used to love swimming. And then all of a sudden this year had a, quite a fear of swimming. Even in Mexico, she had a whole list the whole time. And all of a sudden today, she just decided to start swimming again. So that was a really big deal. I feel like we've had some wins. Even though we've had kind of like stressful moments, you know, with the twins, with um, just age and stage of things, we've had some wins this weekend. So it's all about focusing on those. Eating wins. Eating wins. Eating some eating wins. Holden was oh, eating yeah. steak and peppers and onions. He was trying all sorts That's of new stuff. That's totally true. So we had the win with like the girls keeping the room clean. We had the win with the swimming. And then we also had a win with Holden because he, when he was very little, was a very picky eater. And he is now becoming so adventurous and trying so many foods. And now he's eating peppers and onions and like, um, I don't know. It's just, and he's enjoying them. He's not just like getting them down, you know? So it's so easy sometimes as a parent to be so in it and, and just so focused on the rough stuff that you could be going through and sometimes miss these things. So I'm really trying to make a point to like remind myself of all these wins we're having. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. It means so much to all of us. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.